I need to be careful on this sentence, but there's no other way to say it. Let's see how to slice a heart. That's it. Welcome guys to another How I Slice the video. And today we are going to talk about a heart from the human body drop at Astelflix. You can check the link for this drop on the description, okay? Or the link for this model will be a link, okay? So let's talk about uh, which settings could we change for improving this model, okay? Uh, those are all the pieces and I'm gonna start with the easy ones first, okay? Let's take this off, U2, and then we have this, okay? Uh, I will take this off. All right, guys, let's start from the base. We don't need to expand extra time in here because this is not the main part of the object. And also, we don't have any details in here, so we can optimize this as much as we can. Okay, first of all, I will change for my standard profile 0.32 millimeters of layer height in this one. So I am going to start increasing this, okay? Those are my standard settings, okay? Since this is a base for a decorative model, we don't need to increase a lot of the perimeters and neither the top and bottom layers because resistance is not the main point in here. Okay, uh, continuing in the printing settings, uh, we are going to, we don't need to change the infill settings. The speed is 60 uh, millimeters per second, but I will increase this for 100 because we don't need to print this extremely slow for having better details, for improving vibration. Uh, this is a simple part of the print. Okay, so let's increase our speed. Uh, I like to keep the same speed for uh, having a uniform flow on the filament. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. In here, I recommend you, if you are increasing your lay height, as I am going to do in here, you can increase your extrusion width to keep the same addition between the layers, okay? Remember that, when you increase layer height, increase as well the extrusion width uh, to keep the integrity, the integrity on your print. Uh, let's slice it. So I think two hours for this is more than enough. Let's go to the other part of the base, which is, where are you? You are here, the sign, right? Uh, let's just slice it and see if with those parameters we can do it. Oh, we have a mistake in here, I think. Maybe. Let me just check if we could reduce layer height in here. Uh, yeah, just layer height. Okay, uh, just 30 minutes, I think it's more than enough. And uh, another recommendation for you on these letters is to change the print settings in here. You can change the perimeters generator for the arachne better, okay? Then re-slice it, because this is going to improve some thin parts on the letters, okay? So I recommend you to change this just in this part of your print, okay? In here, we want um, the software to change the extrusion value depending on the thickness of the print, okay? Uh, the thickness of the feature on the model. Okay, so we are going to enable the Arachne just in here. For the other prints, I always prefer to use the common one. Let's see the name in here. We have the classic, okay, the classic pattern. So let's now see the other parts, which are the heart itself. Okay, for those, what we have? Let me just change in here. We are not uh, going to use 0 0.12 millimeters uh, height. Even in the, the, uh, the previous sign, you can use 0 0.16, for example, and I think it's going to work. Just try on your settings, okay? But let's try in here. Um, now I am 
discarding the changes and let's see what I change on my standard profile. We can print this together, okay, in the same bed. Something that we tried in here was the auto-generated supports and I don't recommend you because we have some parts on this print, uh, the internal ones, that is really hard to remove supports. And those parts are internal, so we are not able to see it. So if you have some issues on overhangs, for example, uh, that we supposed to need supports, that part is not going to be seen. So we don't need to use supports internally, okay? I will show you how you can paint supports only where we need it or where we uh, think is for the best and also for being easy to remove, okay? So let's just start in here, click on the model and then paint supports. And now I'm going to highlight all the overhangs like 35 degrees and then I can see where I need supports or where the angle is more sharp than this, okay? Uh, for example, in this part, this one, this, we don't need actually supports, okay? So in here, maybe we need, for example, in here, not internally, we just need the support on the stream bridge, which is outside, for example, in here, uh, in this part, as well, you'll be useful here, in here, those ones, maybe. Uh, I'm almost, I am almost saying that we don't need in those two, okay? Let's just paint it to be safer, but I, I think we don't need it, okay? In this one, for example, I think we don't need it. I'm painting just for showing you, and then we decide later, okay? In this one, those parts are going to be uh, exposed on the model. This one is a, is the contact with the base, so let's just don't doesn't matter so much the appearance in here. So since it's a circle, I think the printer can uh, print this, okay? So let's try now our settings before we slice it. Uh, I'm going to change this for the organic type, okay? I am using 0.16 layer height, so I'm going to change my contact for 0.16, which is one layer of gap. This is the best way to remove easily the support and also keep the print quality, the print uh, finishing on the part which we have contact between the print and the support. Okay, uh, I'm going to use three top interface layers and I recommend you use three or more. Don't use less than three interface, uh, interface layers, okay? Uh, another thing that I recommend, zero, zero interface pattern space because we, we have the lines right, uh, right by side one of the other, okay? So it's going to improve even more the finishing of the areas that are going to have supports. Uh, this separation, I'm going to put something like 0 0.6, and then it's okay. Uh, let's disable this, and now let's see how it's going to work. Okay, I want to check if I have to change something. For example, uh, we have a support in here that I think is going to be hard to remove. This one, maybe, not so much. I think with the right tool, we can remove it. Um, this one is going to be easy as well. Let's just check in this way. Oh, I think it's going to be easy. This one is, is not. We don't have so much access in this part. Uh, let me see if we enable the only in the build plate. Oh, in here, we can, we need to check this box in here, only on the build plate, okay? Sorry guys, I forgot this one. Okay, now we have only on the build plate supports, we don't have uh, above the print and we don't have, uh, this support anymore because it was on the print. 
but I think uh, we can uh, go without it. Let me see. Yes, of course you can. We actually don't need the support right in here. And this one as well, I think we don't need it. Okay, let me see this one. I'm going to take these guys out and keep just the other ones, okay? And also, guys, uh, maybe you don't care so much for these supports on this print because it's going to be something organic and maybe a study object and you don't need uh, a lot of details and uh, improvements in here, but if it's going to be a decorative model in a doctor's office, something like this, and then you can uh, improve the appearance of the print. But if it's going to be another um, application, then you can talk, uh, you can took these parts off, okay? Let's just change uh, the first part that I'm going to change is the position. This is uh, being um, maybe, I think. Let's try something like this, and then we point right here. I don't know. Uh, and then let's just take these guys. We can tap shift on your keyboard and then you erase this. Okay. Right. And also I'm going to change this angle in here, the branch diameter angle for eight, because it was too thin the branch of the support. Let me see. It's way much better, way much safer in this way. We have a stronger support in here. We have the small branches in contact with the print, so they are going to be easy to break, to remove, but they are not going to be easy to detach from the build plate, okay? So this angle right here that I just changed, it's the angle uh, of the inclination in the branch. So if you put five degrees, the branch is going to be like this, like five degrees is just a small inclination. So it grows a little bit on the base. If you put eight, the inclination is a little bit more Okay, so as much as you increase this one, the inclination is going to be like this. So let's uh, exaggerate in here just for you to know how the parameter works. Okay, let's put like 15 degrees in here and then you can see the branch is going to be huge. Uh, eight is fine. Okay, let's just re-slice it. It's just an example. Okay, guys, as you can see, this is uh, an absurd. <laughs> We don't need to print like this, okay? It's just for you to see and for you to know how the parameter works, okay? When your branches on uh, organic supports are like too thin or weak, for example, you can increase a little bit this angle. So let's put it back on eight. I think it's fine. And then we can print our heart. All right, guys, just remember, I put those supports in here just for a precaution. I think we didn't increase a lot the printing time, the waste of material, so it can be safer to print like this. But if you don't want to, you don't need to. This is not a case that uh, if you print uh, without support, it's going to ruin your project, okay? This is not going to happen in here. But if you want to, uh, enable supports. I just showed you some of my settings and I hope you learned something from this video, okay? I hope to see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.